Pennsylvania looks like it's kind of rough. Not really what I expected. Expected more grandeur. And there has been grandeur, <laughs> speaking of which. But it's a little bit scattered. Man, that looks like a fake Umbi rocket ship. <laughs> this would be, uh, you know, just another Catholic church. Another very impressive one. Uh, even more so impressive how they managed to white out everything behind it. Like as if it's a, like a trading card. <laughs> yeah, man, it almost looks like a trading card. Yeah. I mean, this goes to show you that they did know how to edit photos back then. That, that building doesn't exist in a snowy plain uh, by itself, I guarantee you. Here's a beauty. Damn. And this one looks uh, very much like our station to me. You can almost envision the machinery humming to life. Officially, it's a church. How impressive, though. And look, this looks like it was walled in. Yeah, I'd like to see him build that today. I really would. <laughs> you say you can build it, then let's see it. Wow. And... Uh, their old world cathedral here in Philadelphia looking quite impressive, even though it is a drawing. Wow. Here we have another one. This just looks so much like a power plant. I can't even see it any other way anymore. So this one is St. Francis. This is also in Philadelphia, but this is a different uh, different church entirely. What in the same hill we got here? St. James Roman Catholic Church, but looking like it goes down a lot further. Like, I would almost expect to walk up, if I didn't see these cars here, I would almost expect to walk up this and look down, like a courtyard down. The way this is so top-heavy, but these just look so out of place in Pennsylvania. It looks like Rome or Spanish ruins. When I go do Star Wars tours, it looks no different than this. And here we got another one. Man, St. Mark's. And just a whole row of them. St. Martin's? Some sort of Byzantine Catholic church? Like what? What the dome shape dictates? Over there, we don't use the steeples. Just like we don't pray to St. Jerome. But over here, with our white onion domes, why? Well, we forbid dancing and chewing of bubble gum as well. All these different factions of Christianity or Catholicism. Like, who could keep them all straight? Maybe they're all just made up to be like, uh, well, that one over there is gonna be St. Martin's and this one over here is going to be like a seat uh, Jennifer of the th of the third gray. This fencing looking more and more to me as if it sort of carried current. It was more than just a fence. Okay, not sure what's going on with this thing. <laughs> like, uh, look like a bad claymation. Wow, so look at that bad boy. More, uh, you know what. By the you know who with the you know where's and the... <laughs> Well, now if this ain't one of the most egregious examples of, uh, mud flood fish fry, <laughs> it don't look like a fish fry to me. Yeah, another one of this very similar castle, you know, I talked about this in the recent past, as in like yesterday, and wow, this is more of what I expected to see on these, and consider my mind blown, look at that thing, that is, that just looks like it is gonna be there for a very interesting looking, why the need to be such a tall Tall steeple, unless it has some function. Like, why? Otherwise, it just seems sort of like, you know, look at me, pay attention to me. Unless it's like, it's gotta reach up there for some tech purpose. Or, and wow. <laughs> I don't know what this is like, guarding. What is this, an armory? They call it an armory? No, nope, nope, just a church. Oh, okay, we're still calling them churches. Strange church. This old world sprinkled through Pennsylvania next to all those busted ass wooden barns. There's just no chance that this even came from the same generation. I mean, there's no chance. And since they're telling us that there's wooden barns, more previous, well, that does leave some questions unanswered, now doesn't it? Like, what is that? I don't understand, understand what I'm looking at. They build that barn on top of that block, it sure looks like it. I mean, I guess, how could they have done it any other way? <laughs> anyway, they put the block in underneath, the dingus. And wow, of course, this looks like a, an amazing theater, as we've seen all over with this little rope holding open the panel here. Aww. Because, you know why? Because Pennsylvania, guys. Pennsylvania. They just do this. If that is indicative of how deep this walls, these walls are with bricks, if every house that we've looked at is four or five bricks thick of walls, oh my god. That just took more already blown mind about the bricks from earlier. And that was the day my mind grew five times larger. Beautiful house here. Strange little windows on the bottom, you know. More old farmhouses by the Dillion. Wow, look at that foundation. What is going on there? What the fuck happened there? What in the same hell is going on that door? Who decided to build this like this? Which one of y'all put this little well right there? And them stupid doors too high, including that. What kind of shit is this, Pennsylvania? You got some explaining to do. How you gonna build all them buildings like this? Just leave them turn into dumps. Who built this bridge? Why can't you get what fella that made this bridge make him them farmhouses and barns? Might last longer than a season or two. That's actually a good question. Hmm? 
What's up, guys? Why don't the guys made this bridge make your barn? It looks like it'll last a lot longer. I don't even know what's going on here. Like, is this like a house that was buried and then they built another little house on top of it? Like, what is this? The base is looking like they're a different era. But maybe not. Maybe they do that on purpose. Well, or maybe they built the first few like that and then they, um, they decided that it worked. So they kept repeating it. And, uh, well, looks like it's the end of the road for old Hickey's. And another one. An old Nat Ale Trail. Oh, no big deal here. Uh, what was this? Uh, nothing. Don't worry about it. Just a bit of a Roman road or something. Man, here you got that trail, that culvert right here. I don't know what is going on out here. With all them pots. Just then, the earth shook. An entire army of small pots and mushrooms rose to the surface. And they were furious with the invader. Whatever the hell that is. Some old little milepost marker. There's another one. Beautiful. Empty street. One shifty fellow hanging about. Starting to see a pattern here. There's another one. And, uh, just really incredible. How in the frick they had all the time the ability to make all these. This is a lot of buildings. And these are just the ones that have survived. I mean, can you even imagine the massive amount of buildings and things that we've lost? It's just really incredible. That one alone, my god. And everyone's okay with this, huh? Just this look looking normal to you? Maybe... <laughs> this? Maybe that that look is just normal in America. I mean, even this is allegedly occupied. But then what the fuck is that? This bad boy, look at this, splitting right down the middle. Ooh, she not long for this world. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at the, these buildings. Are like, even the ones that have been there for a long time, like these ones, they just look like they are. They're not going to be there as long. I mean, look at them already. Going to quit. Handlers something where forced to sell out. Interesting. They would put this on their front of their building there. What is that? It's called the lake. Wow. And it looks so natural, too. That is one hell of a pretentious walkway. Intrude! Oh, look at this. This is a kind of a funny picture. You have, like, the three primarily means of travel. This seems staged. This old b river barge. And this. All kind. I mean, come on. That's just, uh, that's funny. Did you stage that photo? You did, you clever little son bitch. Get over here. That looking totally normal. This is the Third Presbyterian Church. That's right. These charming little streets here of old Pennsylvania. Just put your tires anywhere. Advanced civilizations! <laughs> whoa, wowie, wowie. What a beaut. What a delightful building. If you saw that, you would think this is old stone. But it's not. There's rebar in it. So that would mean that this one would also have rebar. What the hell happened over here? Well, they look like they've been underwater for a thousand years. No, I'm not coming out. Wow, beautiful. Just beautiful. What you've done with those windows. Come on over here, bud. Check it out. Go down there and check it out for yourself. And there's like a giant creeping up on him. Like, <laughs> brains. And he's unsuspecting. No. Wow. That's just on the ceiling inside of a building. That's fucking incredible. <laughs> Back to this. Pennsylvania, as you know, she give it and then she take it away. Just like that. You think you got a nice thing, but you don't got a nice thing. You want to get a nice thing, but you can't get a nice thing. Every other thing is a bad thing. Canary yellow. You don't see too many bridges in that color. At least I don't. Well, that's one way to do that. And them reindeers come up and licking on my steps. I'm starting to suspect them some bitches made of salt. Oh, dude. Uh, let me be clear. I don't think that anyone in Pennsylvania has an accent like that. It's just sort of a go-to. Darren home, dirt, dirt, from the 1800s kind of feller in my mind. I don't actually think anyone from Pennsylvania talks like that. I know they're way too weather well, a bunch of Yankees. Oh, look at that. Nah, 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 nah. Nope. Oh, Pennsylvania, land of the strange. Boxed up buildings and home on the range. Pedestrians floundering. Buildings galore. Ain't yet really been there. Well, can't tell for sure. It might have been once on that trip to D.C. that I took back when I was just a lad of 13. I said that to rhyme, but it doesn't make sense. Because actually 16, and the rhyme stays in 10. You can cut that line rick out with the edit. Y'all just some conspiracy nuts, said some dude on Reddit. With his snoof of his nose and his wag of his pink. I'm much too smart, though I'm not old enough to drink. <laughs> That was awful. Some little bastards wrote Wiener on the side of that building. No, no, that's his name, homie. Oh, still, Wiener. Yeah. And just like that, all the gymnasts dropped their barbells and ran. Nah, no, I'm just kidding. It's a train yard, dude. Of course they got extra wheels like that. Hello, Phoenix. The Bureau of Mines Experiment Station. Ooh. Sounds like a lot of creepy things went down there. Can't wait to find out. Little fountain. And uh, another one. 
Wow. How many of these did they have? Uh, look at the way they slatted those up with wood. Scrap wood. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. You really you really built that building. You didn't just move in, did you? It's not like there were windows or anything there before. You built these wooden slats. What is all this? How did this happen? Like, did nobody give a damn ever? They all just rolled in and did whatever they wanted with the buildings? What is this? How? You gonna let this happen to this? What kind of people were these people? You almost have to keep doubling back to, you know, the silent generation. You know, they, they said even when they were alive, like the silent generation... It's like, what does that even mean? Do these people have some sort of weird curse against them where they couldn't say anything? I mean, I know that sounds outlandish, but I just can't believe that nobody would have noticed it. What is this? You walk up to this, and the most amazing piece of technology you've ever seen is like a, maybe a telegraph. And it's like you walk up to this, well, that seems normal. Does it seem normal for a post office? I mean, I don't know. Dude. Let's let's get out of America. Let's go see some real ruins, you know, on vacation. Yeah, let's go to Greece. Yeah, and then they say, Wow! Amazing! They were so much better. They were so amazing back then. Like, they were all so stupid, but they were also so amazing. And they were also so stupid, but so amazing. It's like, oh, this is a dizzying way to wrap your head around that. Oh, man. We just got it wrong somehow. We got it wrong. All this machinery that they just don't make ever since. And I don't know what's going on there, but if this was Mario World, I bet you one of those warps you a different level. The D blast for this planet. Blown in in 1596. Blown in on the wind. One day we looked up and they said, what's that little dot coming there? And we're like, no, shit. They're getting closer and closer. We ran and got for cover. And I had behind some hedges and jays. We jumped in the ditch. And then when we woke up, and there's a bunch of dust and when all that settled. I got up there and there was just suddenly this, this big ass blast for this cell just sitting there. The wind brought dip. Sure did. It's probably blown in. It's probably some term. It's like, uh, <laughs> like, what are you dumb? I mean, when it comes to furnaces, okay, I'll go there. Yeah, I'm dumb. Okay, I'm dumb about that. Daily output limited to 300 tons per furnace. That seems like a lot to me. And that's when all the people got them robot jobs. Not because it was easier for the man or safer, because it pro increased production. Just remember that, America. They don't give a fuck about you. As long as they can get something in there that will increase production better than you. Bye. That's something all them factories in China are going to learn one day. If they haven't already. It is the way of power. It is simply what they do. The evil do that they do do. And the future looks like this. Are you excited? I didn't hear you. Are you excited? Doesn't that look better than trees? Doesn't it? Look at it. Doesn't look so much better than beaches. And, ooh, ew, gross. Like yucky. Empty. Ooh, empty deserts and all that. Like, you know, like, ew, disgusting. Like, who wants some meadow? Like, look at this one. This is, this is gross. There's little bits of hanging on. It's probably full of crawly little bugs and like slimy things. But this, yeah, this is perfect. This is industry. This is life. This is America. Look how beautiful. I love it. I love it. Oh, I love it. I want more of it. I think I'm more getting aroused. I might be getting aroused at this. This is amazing. I've never seen anything quite like it. I'd love to eat mushrooms running around here. It's so soul enriching. Look at the millers, how they keep their lawn all cluttered with them ornaments. Compared to our nice little smooth expanse of lovely grass, they are some pack rats over there. Wow. More of that, please. That's a incredible looking building. This double staircase thing is just such an amazing sweeping design of architecture. Right? Well, boy, I just can't say enough about it. Not sure what's going on there. Looking like a transistor of some sort. Oh, I love these old cars, man. What is that? Man, what is that? The University of Pennsylvania College Hall. And let me guess. The dean with a shovel and a couple of teachers that said, by God, it's about time we built a good school around here for Pennsylvania. Yeah, our kids deserve better. Yeah! Go get you guys some stones and shovels and we'll see you out here tomorrow. Y'all right. Whoa. That's amazing. There's no way this stands still today. I just, it's too beautiful. They don't leave shit like that in America here. Yeah. Wow, well, look at like, the door. It has those star fort patterns. Crazy. Well, I mean the pizza roll shape. Whoa, look at this bad boy. I don't think it's the same building, is it? Oh, it's just on the same building. Oh, Frank Furnace, of course. That fictional hack. Man, this is incredible. This is like, that's what I'm talking about. That just made me feel better about Pennsylvania as a whole. All of that. And they just give it to the men's dorms. These idiot kids are just like, bleh, 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 flush your t-shirt down the toilet. Who cares about the future? <laughs> Whatever this is, ominous sort of statue. Look at these people about to fight to their death. Good luck, people. Maybe they lost. That's like a turn into a statue. What is all this? This is insane. This is just part of the University of Museum, Pennsylvania Museum. What the? F uh, ridiculous. Miss me with all that. We built this. Impossible. A mysteries. And then the trailers. It'll never get old. It'll never get old. Well, not for me anyway. I see that. I'm like, good 
golly walk over. Yeah, I bet you. 90% of these are gone. We moved, we moved. Of course you have. Oh, no. Whoa. They calling this a Walnut Street outfall? There's fucking bricks in the ground. What the hell is this? Uh, buried cities, man. Buried. How and why would you even want to deny it? I mean, it's, it's just ridiculous. Even if they're only buried six feet. Even if they did it on purpose. Okay. But they're there. Wow, that's impressive. And yeah, we're just gonna bust a hole right through this uh, pile of brick up over here. What the fuck is that? I'm sure. Yo, this is original wall, I'm sure. Well, uh, yeah, it was. Why'd you bust a hole through it? Why'd you make it that way? I don't know. Because we didn't make it. I know. Whoa, that's creepy as hell. Get me going over there. That's nice, though. I'd live there. Said no one ever. Well, in the past hundred years, it might have been nice. If you're watching this, not your house. I'm sorry. Looks like it was lovely at one point. Grave digger. Hmm, it's... He's right. Children, have a drink. Oh, wow. The old man by the shack lived down there. That's right. A tramp. He had a little kids go pick pockets for him. Bring him something back. Well, he'd give him a chicken bone or some shit. I don't know. Dang. Look at that thing. Giving me vibes of something different. Why does this church have a manhole cover? No. Ow. I don't think I'm feeling it. Wow, beautiful. All I know is this is the longest survey of buildings I could ever imagine in my life. And really, I probably should have, you know, pruned these back a bit because it's like house of the 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 house. A lot of them, man, are just indistinguishable. Then you get your amazing ones like I am. Which are very revealing. Look how low that door is. I feel like they went a little crazy on the designations of these. Or they just really, you know, they took it to heart. When Pennsylvania says history, we means it. And granted, there are a lot of gorgeous, amazing structures with very mysterious, dubious histories. I see it, I do. It's everywhere. Don't fall on the lights, Clarice. <laughs> I mean, the ice cream cone, candy cone, cone. I'm gonna do something a little different right now. And I just am curious if you hear any parallels in the time he lived to the time that we lived. And, uh, I don't know, I suppose I just let the thoughts, uh, sort of flow over you and see what you think. There was a sudden crash that was heard throughout the land. The dead and outworn husk of the America that had once been had cracked and split right down the back and the living, changing, suffering thing within, the real America, the America that had always been, the America that was yet to be, began now slowly to emerge. It came forth into the light of day, stunned, cramped, appled by the bonds of its imprisonment, and for a long time it remained in a state of suspended animation full of latent vitality, waiting, waiting patiently for the next stage of its metamorphosis. The leaders of the nation had fixed their gaze so long upon the illusions of a false prosperity that they had forgotten what America, too, fed life. Now they saw it, saw its newness, its raw crudeness, and its strength, and turned their shuddering eyes away. Give us back our well-worn husk, they said, where we were so snug and comfortable. And then they tried word magic. Conditions are fundamentally sound, they said, by which they meant to reassure themselves that nothing now has really changed, but things are as they had always been and as they always would be, forever and ever, amen. But they were wrong. They did not know that you can't go home again. America had come to the end of something, and to the beginning of something else, but no one knew what that something else would be. And out of the change and the uncertainty and the wrongness of the leaders grew fear and desperation, and before long, hunger stalked the streets. Through it all, there was only one certainty, though no one saw it yet. America was still America, and whatever new thing came of it would be America. The collapse of the stock market, which had begun in late October, was in some ways like the fall of a gigantic boulder into the still waters of a lake. The suddenness of it sent waves of desperate fear moving in ever-widening circles throughout America. Millions of people in the far-off hamlets and towns and cities did not know what to make of it. Would its effects touch them? They hope not. And the waters of the lake closed over the fallen boulder, and for a while, most Americans went about their day's work just as usual. But it was not only in the South that America was hurt. There was another deeper, darker, and more nameless wound throughout the land. What was it? Was it in the record of corrupt officials? and polluted governments, administrators twisted to the arm, the huge excess of privilege and graft, protected criminals and gangster rule, the democratic forms all rotten and putrescent with disease? Was it in puritism, that great vague name, whatever it may be? Was it in the bloated surfeits of monopoly and the crimes of wealth against the worker's life? Yes, it was in all of those. And in the daily tolling of the murdered men, the lurid renderings of promiscuous and casual slaughter everywhere throughout the land, and in the pious hypocrisy of the press with its swift forgotten prayers for our improvement, the editorial moaning while the front page gloats. Are we not all worn by the same sun, frozen by the same cold, shone on by the same lights of time and terror here in America? Yes, and if we do not look and see it, we shall all be damned together. And
Sometimes it seems to me that America went off the track somewhere, back around the time of the Civil War or pretty soon afterwards. Instead of going ahead and developing along the line in which the country started out, it got shunted in another direction. And now we look around and we see we've gone places we didn't mean to go. Suddenly we realize that America has turned into something ugly, vicious, and corroded at the heart of its power with easy wealth and graft and special privilege. And, and the worst of it is in the intellectual dishonesty which all this corruption has bred. People are afraid to think straight, afraid to face themselves, afraid to look at things and see them as they are. We become like a nation of advertising men, all hiding behind catchphrases like prosperity and rugged individualism and the American way and the real thing like freedom and equal opportunity and the integrity and worth of the individual, things that have belonged to the American dream since the beginning, they've become just words too. The substance has gone out of them. They're not real anymore. Guys like that were uh, writing about just the perils we have, which I don't know what to feel about that. It gives me some level of hope, some reminder that there's something amazing going on and our troubles aren't that important. Maybe the same fears we have will be having 40 years from now. Maybe. But when you got buildings like this looking in your face, it is just a little difficult to think that we have things in control. Stay vigilant, my friends, and I'll see you soon. Lights out. Do it. Do it. I right, fucked it up, dude. You fucked it up. There you go. I got a freaking slideshow. Don't touch me like that. I'm being a dick right now. See you soon. soon, soon.